My name is Scott Holman, I'm a taxidermist. I don't think there was any influences in my childhood that led directly to taxidermy, other than that I, uh, I liked to hunt and fish right from day one pretty well. I was, I was shooting arrows or bullets at something. I had no idea when I was young that I would even remotely be a taxidermist. I had no idea at all. Uh, they bring the, the deer head in and um, I measure the head, I measure the size of the head and the swell on the neck, how the horns sit on the head and everything. Then it's skinned out uh, and then all I keep is the skin and the, and the skull plate, the top of the, the head with the horns attached. A lot of times they don't know what a taxidermist is, so they'll think I either drive a taxi or I do your taxes. I get a lot of calls at New Year's and Christmas, like for picking people up, for driving taxis, it's incredible. How I get clients, do good work and they'll come to you. Not everybody can do this job. This is a very important job. This is your first line of work, you know. And uh, if you make a mess of this, then the final product is not gonna be very good either. So this is a very important part of the job that um, I don't trust a lot of people to do. That's why I do this always by myself. Salt it and dry it so that um, the hide's preserved and, and the hair is locked in. There's lots of guys want to do, you know, um, fool around with doing their own deer head and stuff like that. You might not end up with with quite the polished, finished mount that somebody's that's doing it every day is going to end up with. You know what? They're probably pretty proud of those things too. I graduated from high school when I was 17 and I come come up here I was a welder for a year a little over a year and then that business closed down and so I needed a job so I uh, I got looking around and I walked into the local taxidermy shop and and uh, went from there the next step was uh, that shop closed down Ray moved to BC and I was either find something else to do or jump into business on my own. So I did, I did just that. I opened my own shop in my little one car garage and basically I haven't changed a whole lot from that. I'll put the eyes in and then we glue it. I get to do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, you know, and the final product is what I want when I'm finished with it, you know, it's, it's what I expect out of it, and I'm the only one that um, has to answer to the client. You know, the basics of taxidermy are, are fairly simple. Um, you know, the mechanics of it. Um, so I think I grasp those parts of it fairly quickly. Um, but you're always learning and, and uh, to get good at, at doing it, you know, takes some time for sure. It's 
once I start, I can't stop. I have to, I have to keep going. But um, and this glue, this glue especially, it has to be fresh when you put it on. You got to put the hide on right away. If it skins over at all, it doesn't work at all. So there's no waiting around at this point. Yeah, there's definitely a respect uh, between the taxidermists that are left. There's only four of us in western Manitoba right now that are making a living off of doing taxidermy. If I got 15 hours into a deer head, I figure that's what I price it for. I, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Um, I'm taking a part of the animal that that normally would be thrown in the shed and never seen again, you know, and uh, making a piece of art or, or uh, a memory for, for uh, hunters that, you know, they'll, they'll take their deer head and instead of just taking the meat and throwing the hide and horns away, I take that and I make something for their wall that they can remember that hunt for a lot of years. I don't know what percent it is of the hunting population that gets stuff mounted now, but it's not very high. So the fewer hunters are out there, the, the fewer that number is, you know, that's actually going to get stuff mounted. So yeah, I, I don't know what the answer there is. You know, if, if I knew what the future was, I'd you know, maybe, maybe you're doing different stuff. I, I don't know, but I can, I think it'd be all right for the next few years, but 25 years down the road, no idea. <laughs>